and we're off. I coach Millennium High School. I'm on year four, and last night we broke the school record with the most um, most goals scored in a single game with 14. We won 14-0 last night against um, Fairfax High School, and I don't feel bad about it. It is what it is, and you know it's high school varsity. And I'm not going to tell my girls not to play a certain way. Um, we're definitely considerate of what's going on with the uh, with the the goal differential going on. But we're not going to pl- change the way we play. But I'm not going to run up the score by keeping my main starters out there just running it up. The team, my team's going to play a certain way. And the thing is, I've been there. I've had I've had the uh, I've had the, the I had it the other way around where the goals were just scored on my teams getting destroyed. I've been I've lost eighteen nothing before, you know. And I have problems how people run up the score in certain situations. But if you're playing good soccer and you're just outclassing the opponent, run up the score. That's my thought process on it. If you're playing beautiful soccer and you're combining passes and your technique is so superior, run up the score. Do it. Showcase what soccer is supposed to look like. Run up the score. I have no problem with that. Where I do have a problem with running up the score is when you are just so direct, so overwhelming when it comes to physical play, kids are getting hurt, and it's not soccer. It's just we're going to beat you up and just run up the score by just banging the ball over the top and just be reckless, out of control, get the ball in the net. I have a problem with that. That does exist. It doesn't exist with my team. Um, The Millennium Tigers knocked the ball around. It was beautiful. We were getting better and we're trying to win it. We're trying to win a championship, even though we're now, we don't talk about that, but I'm trying to prepare these, these players to be, to get better in every moment, in every situation. So, that's my thought process, but you know, our first substitution, we're up, I think, four zero, three three or four zero. We sub the entire starting ten. My keeper. We stu- we sub the entire ten out, and our next line came on, and nothing changed, and they score goals. the The system was the same, and I was extremely proud of my girls to maintain. Uh, how we want to play. And it was one of the first times, shoot, it might have been now, it's it's first time in high school that the players, the, the second uh, shift of players just came in and nothing changed. They bought in, they played, the starting lineup was, um, from that game was cheering those girls on. It was awesome. But I'm not going to tell... Uh, my players, hey, don't score because we don't make them feel bad. No, score. Score 20, score 30, but it has to be done the right way. You got to play the right way. If you're playing beautiful soccer, showcase it. Now, I I don't, I'm not an advocate of that for U6 or U8 or anything like that. You know, you can dictate your games. I was given a game. Schedule is presented. We got it, and we're going to play. So, do I want to run up the score? No, I don't want to. I want to play the right way. If goals happen, they happen. It wasn't like tapping goals. My girls were playing amazing soccer. And I filmed it, two cameras. So um, you can go and huddle and watch what they did. But yeah, run up the score? Yes. But do it the right way where it's not just kids are getting hurt and all that. But, you know, it's it's high school varsity. Uh pushing our kids to a level to uh, uh, win championships, that's what we're supposed to do. And I'm still trying to figure it out. I don't have that many championships under my belt. And I'm trying to find a way to change the culture, do it the right way, and make things happen. And now, there's one thing about the our team is they do a lot of their own coaching. We're trying to get the, our team to take responsible, uh, responsibility 
over how things are run. We give them the information during practice and stuff, but we're trying to get them to really lead. And during their, uh, uh, we call them bro ups, they got together and um, actually we should be called tiger ups. But anyways, they got together and they were talking amongst themselves and that was mentioned in their circle. Hey, let's, let's be careful. Let's be, you know, how this game gets out of hand that, you know, we don't make the other the opposing team feel bad. And, you know, they they were good about it. They were, they were, um, uh, they were very, uh, you know, kind of like, you know, they score, but they wouldn't let you, they wouldn't rub it in, you know, they would, you know, just be happy and, and be supportive. But you could tell through the handshake line. Our handshake line, it was um, the, the the opposing team was, you know, they were they were smiling shockingly, um, and they they were they were fine. They were happy. It was good. But I think that has a lot to do. They didn't they didn't hate us. You know, we were just playing. It's one thing if you beat them up. That's a different that's a different animal. We have that in women's soccer and, and girls soccer. They're so reckless. Not my girls. They're technical, they think, they have a thought, and we try to play good soccer. So run up the score, yes, run it up, but do it through uh, appropriate play. Develop your players. So anyways, this was my first podcast and YouTube stream in my vehicle. I don't know if this is legal, but I'm trying to maximize the time I have in my life. I podcast, I now YouTube um, from my car. So this is Coach Cameron signing out. Peace. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.